Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to The Vanishing of Ethan Carter on the Game Gent channel. Uh, we've just entered out from the mines. Uh, there's got a lot of water coming through that house. Oh, and it's loading again. Take your time. Um, so yeah, so we just made it out of the mines, uh, where his mother's just been killed by his dad. Uh, in fairness, she was a little bit out of it. it, was an understatement. Um, so yeah, so we're just trying to figure out what's happening, still. Um, so it seems like Ethan's awakened something, or disturbed the sleeper. Whatever the sleeper is. I'm still not buying into the supernatural stuff, but you never know. And let's kind of investigate what's in here. Uh, that is a axe. We are missing an axe. Which is... In... A house on the floor. Next to some... Next to a body! Okay. Okay, so once we find the next crime scene. Broken door, yep. Oh, okay. Found it. Before I inspect the body, I'll put the axe back. There we go. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. oh. Scissors in what looks like a shed type thing. So I won't bother inspecting the body yet because I'll need to put all the, pa uh, all the pieces together anyway beforehand. So let's go and find the scissors. It should be just up around here. Yes. Oh, in the elevator that doesn't work. That's right. Okay. Yes. Bloody scissors. Uh, send that up as well. Okay, that's cool. Probably didn't want to do that. Probably need to go up at some point, but oh well. Alright, let's investigate this body and see what the hell happened. Judging from the looks of it, it's Travis who it would be even rather. Is there anything else? No. Punctured throat. Yeah, scissors in the throat. Yep, alright. Or is that his... Oh, that might actually be his dad. Oh, that's his... Okay, so he came out and tried to have a swing at him. This probably is an easy one, because then they would go to here. 
Men fjerde. Travis, put down the axe. An accident. I didn't want her to get hurt. Oh, so sick. You know, since Ethan found that room. Where's Ethan, goddammit? Talk to me! Okay? Okay! He wants to burn Vandergriff's room. Look, Travis, just... Just, just leave me alone! Oh god! Oh god! The sleeper chooses vessels. You know that? To enact his wishes, he chose Mom. He chose me. Son, I don't want to hurt you. You think scissors are gonna save you? Wow, okay. That's pretty messed up. Like in my hmm. Hmm, okay. Suicide wouldn't feed it, but it did. I could feel it sitting somewhere out there, fat as a bullfrog, digesting. Hmm, okay. Alrighty. I guess onwards we go then. I feel like we're coming to the the tail end of it though. So I just wonder what's, what was in that room that Ethan disturbed. Because he must have, he must have disturbed something, because obviously something weird is happening. Cross, anyway. There we go. There we go. Press over there. Look at that. Alrighty. Onwards we go.
Mm -hmm. Alright. Up the creek we go. So yeah, I'm I'm still trust trying to figure oh right. I could feel them. A pinprick of light in the darkness. He would know me. He would know why I'd come. So yeah, like I said, I feel like it's it's building up now. Because we're slowly piecing together everything. Still not quite sure what the um the sleeper is. Hmm. That looks like a burnt down house. It's quite beautiful actually though. Hmm. I wonder whether the red lake is supposed to signify anything though. Why is it red? Is it just like copper or is it... Um... Is it filled with blood? What about you? You've got the reflections in the water. Still embers, so. I can't say there'd be much clues left after a fire, to be honest. Hmm. Ah, see? I'm very glad I uh, wrote down... There is six, and I can read that it says Corvus there. Corvus? Yeah, there we go. Oh. Oh no. Hmm. I am not myself, have not been myself. Voices again today, same as yesterday. This is most vexing. I tried to brick her up in the wall. She tough. She fought me. In the end, I couldn't do it. Not to my wife. Neither she nor the sleeper is pleased. Now I must decide whom I fear more. Oh, that's creepy. What I must do is clear to me now. The sleeper resides in a prison of death and pain is the key. That's really fucking creepy. Okay, so we got him there. Okay, so, so it seems like they were trying to open the door. So I'll say we don't have canisters here. So I go one there, two there, three 
there. I meant four there, because that's where he ended up. I found Vandergur's diary. He said for the sleeper to wake up, something. No, okay. So maybe well that one's one. Ethan, I fought it off. It's okay. Grandpa, get away from me! Your grandmother Gail is protecting me from it. Ethan, I can help you. I found Vandergus diary. He said for the sleeper to wake up, someone has to suffer. Look! When I found that room, I didn't wake him up. He's trying to wake up now. Vandergrift kept his victims alive. He made them suffer. That's what the sleeper wants. We need to get in that room. Okay. I can squeeze through. to be this way. The sleeper must not wake. Burning the room won't matter, Ethan. The sleeper's inside of us now. Grandpa! Get back! We all have to die. Even you. Even me. Okay. Wow, okay. Prospero, are you, are you really here? I'm sorry, Ethan. I was late. Too late. You're right. You were too late. Here, again, I knew this story, and it was Ethan's as much as it was mine. And it wasn't finished. Not yet. Okay. Oh, this is... Okay, so I need to go and I need to finish those two stories. Okay, well, I guess I'll I'll leave it there. We're getting there. Uh, I'll finish off the trap story and the other one as well. Alright, so, uh, yeah. If you like this video, please hit the like button below. If you want to subscribe to see the conclusion of The Vanishing of Ethan Carter, please hit the subscribe button. And until next time, this is The Game Gen, signing out.